Hello everyone, and welcome back to another reaction video. And today, we're going to be reacting to Jane Animations. I attempted a two-player Nuzlocke. Now, I already did a reaction of hers on my channel. Where she did a Nuzlocke. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Catch one Pokemon per route and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. Yep. But this time we're doing something a bit different. A two-person Nuzlocke. It's technically called a Soul Link, but no Soul. one knows what that means. So basically you and person two play the same Pokemon game at the same time following the same Nuzlocke rules. However, your Pokemon are linked, which means if my starter dies, player two's starter also dies and they can't do anything about it. Plus, we can only have Dang. one primary typing for both of our teams combined. So if I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on theirs. And cherry on top, all Pokemon are randomized. I can walk into the grass at any point and accidentally find God. Accurate. And maybe he'll just kill all my animals right then and there. So with all these new rules in place, I needed also to accurate. find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon master, able to adapt, improvise, and strategize all at the drop of a hat. And who else other than Pokemon master himself? Jacob Alpharad. Hey, I who reacted at to this him. point in time has a 50-50 Nuzlocke win ratio. Here's Perfect. our Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Soul Link Nuzlocke. We both go... We sh... I don't know. I kind of want to do a soul link. I think that'd be a fun thing to do on the channel. So, yeah. I'd have to find someone to do it, but... Yeah. Like, it just sounds really cool. Alright. Anyway. I reacted to him, though. Recently. this guy. Alright. Go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately beeline it to Professor Elm's lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us, because we don't know. They're random. Yeah. In case you forgot what I just said. We stroll up to him and he pats Jacob on the head and goes, here, yeah. choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, Tentacruel, or Ludicolo. <laughs> Alright, what do I get? Why not Mankey Ariadus? Awesome. I knew Jacob it. takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we <laughs> name them Franklin. On our way to talk to Mr. Pokemon, Jacob runs into a Reggie Rock in a random patch of grass, which just flat out <laughs> explodes on him. No one yeah. died, luckily, but also, oh my god. We get an egg and immediately Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. Yeah. You really couldn't handle being alone for 10 minutes, could you? <laughs> On our way back to help a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs, challenges us to a battle with Pokemon he stole from Elm, which we immediately win, scoffs again, then drops his yeah. wallet, passport, credit card, driver's license, social security, target gift card on the ground in front of us <laughs> for the world to see. Dude, get your craps together. You can't be doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, Elm is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Yes. We saw his info. Now here we get to name our rival. Jacob and I Ooh, try yeah. to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocker has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocks so far, some of his comments were more critical than others <laughs> and directed at one of us more than the other mr policeman his name is jan hi jan <laughs> let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out anyway our neighbor takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a pokemon runs into articuno <laughs> catches it in a pokeball in the green and turns to us and goes see just like that they give us some Pokeballs and we can finally start <laughs> our journey we both run around in the grass and our first encounters are barboach and Houndoom. Oh. This would have been awesome for Jacob <laughs> if he could catch the dang thing. Since we only yeah. had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter what, and we ended up not getting that pair. But Oof. you know, it's all right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Farfetch that Jacob accidentally kills, or Geodude Gyarados that Jacob accidentally kills, <laughs> or Tyro Charizard that Jacob accidentally kills. Yeah, hey, why do I get this? And Jacob gets all this. <laughs> yeah. 
And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But finally, in the ruins of Elf, we managed to catch a new pair. Sand slash Camerupt. Not bad at all. We tried to name them Michael, but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, Michels. Then on Route 32, we catch Totodile Beedrill, which Wait. is also pretty good. Isn't Camerupt and Sand slash both ground types? I think they're both ground types. Mainly for just me. We started <laughs> combining the two Pokemon to create their names, so we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran Bedrodo. into a trainer who had a freaking Palkia on his team. <laughs> Fun fact, did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy and Salamence? No other dragons, just Salamence. Why? I mean, yeah, but why? <laughs> So Jacob and okay. I started joking around every time we saw a Palkia. Oh no, if only I had a Salamence. Uh-oh, don't have a Salamence over here. It was kind of strange how many Palkias we ran into, but that <laughs> didn't stop us from bullying every single one. So we take on Faulkner, the first gym leader, who has Kyogre Bronzar Oof. and Metagross Dragonair. Oof. Oh my god. After a lot of difficulty, we both managed to beat him with no casualties. I don't know how that happened, but hey, everyone's all right. <laughs> oh, he's gonna take himself out. Level nine Metagross. Oh my god. How about some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, hello, Shuckle Suicune. <laughs> that Jacob accidentally kills. In yeah. Azalea Town, we challenge Bugsy, who luckily wasn't as stacked as Faulkner. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished yet. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Challenges <laughs> us to a battle, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Ma Wild Deoxys in the forest, who someone accidentally kills, and make our way to Goldenrod, where there's a security guard that'll give us both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon too, which I'm ecstatic about, turns to Jacob, and gives him Regigigas, <laughs> which we can't use because they're both normal types. Of all the legends you had to get, of course you get the only normal type besides actual god. We beat with- <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, good point, Jane. But if, like, they're both normal types, Camerupt and Sandslash are both ground types. <laughs> and in the national park find Piplup Flaffy, which we hey. named Plap. I pitched to Jacob that I'm willing nice. to trade the Bedrodas to make room for this new pair, so he essentially switches Beedrill <laughs> with Flaffy, which we shake on. Welcome to the team, Plaps. Yeah. And then oh, my no. Plap immediately almost gets killed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jaden. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. <laughs> 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 Sorry, my bad. We find Dragonair Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use right away. Ooh. But, yeah, I ended up killing that one. Look, I'm sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Route 36 that actually turn out to be Cradily Silcoon. We kind of named them Dilly Doo and could have added them to the team as Death Fodder, but we ended up forgetting to. <laughs> Which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake, but what's the worst that could happen? Who needs Death Fodder in a Nuzlocke? Jacob and I make it to Ecratique and walk into the Burn Tower. As we are about to go down there, Jan runs up and is like, you're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually are. And we're like, no, we killed him a while ago, but he still yeah. wanted to battle, probably to show off the Mew he somehow found. We beat him yet again, go downstairs, scare off the dogs, and go challenge Morty. Jacob didn't have any trouble for the team Morty had for him, <laughs> but for me, I was having a bit of a harder time because he had a Lugia, Oof. which neither me nor my team could even handle. <laughs> All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray <laughs> I don't get crit one shot as Jacob just sits there watching. <laughs> but it ended up working out. We arrive in Olivine and climb the giant lighthouse, almost falling to our literal death along the way. Reach Jasmine at the top, who's like, climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Seanwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing <laughs> to Seanwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we did catch them. Abamatar joined the team <laughs> immediately, and suddenly we've got a pretty powerful lineup going on. Also, a random guy in town gifted us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. Finally! <laughs> I'm the one with the legend now! But Finally. we had to box him because we couldn't have two grass types. <clears throat> All of this sudden shared luck combined with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident. Oh no. Which naturally means it's time to get kicked in the throat. 
specifically by a black belt martial artist. Gym leader Chuck was indescribably tough in the most bullcrap way possible. For me, <laughs> Jacob had no yeah. trouble at all because he's Jacob. He had a Kingdra, which yeah. I brought Obamatar out for. Nothing else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback of this is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates hail, damaging every Pokemon, including my own. That's yeah. not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. Yeah. I even made a, a teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it, Snow's gonna kill one of my Pokemon. <laughs> Kingdra goes down and Chuck's only other Pokemon, he's only got two, is Frostlass, who if you don't know, has Snow Cloak. Oof. Snow Cloak makes the Pokemon 20% harder to hit if there's hail. <laughs> oh, you wanna no. know how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five, three of which <laughs> being Mamoswine. You wanna know how many Pokemon there are in Heart Gold, Soul Silver? 493. Now, I know these odds sound pretty awful already, but you know what this Frostlass does? She uses Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind has a 10% oh, no. chance to boost every single stat of the user. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. Oh no. After a <laughs> lot of strategizing, we both decided the best option for us would be to send in Mychil as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only one that can really do anything at this point. And what happens? Please don't get another stat boost. You're, he's good. He's so good. He's no, no. Oh my! <laughs> Frostlass crit one shots Michael as soon as he comes out. Our first deaths. Poor camera up. He was so proud for making it out of Jack's gym and then just <laughs> falls over dead for no reason. I got Plap healed yeah, up no. and basically started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy, <laughs> but. T t t I Come on! <laughs> After literally struggling against my own bad luck for what felt like hours, finally, Frostlass goes down. Finally. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Jacob practically <laughs> drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. <laughs> we decided to add a pair we caught back on Route 35, which was Charmeleon Donphan named Darfell, a fantastic duo. I was admittedly and I think justifiably still really salty about what we just went through, but Jacob convinced me that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned hey. to Olivine to feed Amphi the medicine that we picked up so Jasmine would finally do her job. And check this out. Already done. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at our two screens real quick. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's all right. She also <laughs> had a Geoxys. We headed to Mahogany Town, catching and adding Nidoran and Vibaral named Beryl to the team. And in the Lake of Rage, nice. Jacob caught a Kyogre paired with my Swalot. We never <laughs> used this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We approached the glistening shadow of the Lake Beast, activate the encounter, and find a shiny Baneerian Dawn fan. Not, you know, the best, <laughs> but hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat. Oop, I killed it. <laughs> yeah. That's again, my bad, sorry. Lance walks up to us and goes, hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist, kicks down the door to the Mahogany Town 7-Eleven, kills one of the guys in there, and <laughs> runs into the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism he finds down there. <laughs> yeah. Classic Lance. We decided to copy him and beat up all the executives and their power generator. Right before we fly to Goldenrod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. We were getting a bit too comfy oh, though, no. and as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, Obamatar was killed by a golem's earthquake. Oh no. That yeah. was a really bad blow and stung much more because we weren't paying attention. But we did have to move on, especially since we were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our yeah. way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and gave him a bit of a throat chop so he would calm down and stop <laughs> doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone is saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frostlass Corfish, <laughs> which put me into a vengeful trauma spiral. Uh. You. <laughs> and then Jacob caught himself both a Suicune and an Azelf. We arrived and took on Claire, who led with a Mewtwo against me, which at this point I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of her team was pretty much a pushover for both of us. Claire's a bad sport and refused to think we were good trainers, so we talked to the old man behind the gym and he's like, so do you beat your Pokemon? And we're like, no. And he's like, awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge. <laughs> what? So now we can head to the Elite Four. Hey guys. I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecrotique. 
Uh, so we enter the Ecritique Theater and start fighting the women. And the second yeah. girl for me sends out Ambipalm. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which I <clears throat> didn't pay attention to. And Ambipalm double hit killed Franklin. Ooh. Our starters died. Ooh. Dude, that was really sad. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam. Not alive anymore. They were with us through everything. Pretty much the backbone to our teams. Man. Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still <laughs> mourning, the last kimono girl rest spams with Waylord. Do you oh, have no. any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. We try to leave and the girls are all, no, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon. He's already got three. So I head <laughs> to Whirl Islands and Jacob scales the bell tower. And what legends do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. <laughs> Finally, we have some freedom again. And as soon as we touch the water in Newbark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of the lake but Entei himself? <laughs> And Doduo. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hello, Dode. That's going in the box because fire types. We catch Cascoon Regirock in Victory Road, and <laughs> heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from of behind us, and I iconically Regirock. say, This is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? <laughs> oh no. No, oh, Charizard. Or fell. <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? Oh, that's not great. Oh, uh, he killed one of our Pokemon. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since the fifth gym, and we really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally half our team right before the Elite Four. Oof. Mm. We beat Jan for the last time, enter the Indigo Plateau, and immediately bolt to the PC <laughs> to see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch together the best teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion, Bibarel Nidoqueen, Beautifly Cradley, Dodrio Ente, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. <laughs> I know, I know. Wow, Jaden, super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Ente, and Jacob has a Beautifly. Look, I. This is the best we could do, I promise. Tell him, Jacob, tell him. <laughs> I mean, considering the luck this guy had, I think it's fair. Anyway, big deep breath. Here we go into the unknown depths of the Elite Four. Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. Yeah. We breezed right past them. Everything was going great. This is yeah, fine. He's done. Who? Yeah, he's... Oh! Oh, 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 my God. Uh, critical uh, hit. It's fine. <laughs> I win these. On the other hand... <laughs> I win these. Karen was not as nice. No, I just mean, what if he does any charge move? Oh... Uh, Okay, he just did cross chop. He's dead. It's fine. I was safe to fly him. I'm just paranoid. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> and the critical hit. Oh no. Guys, we're so sorry we got you killed in the first like 15 minutes of having you. We ended <laughs> up getting quick. out of the battle with no more casualties, but facing Lance with a team of four each is really not ideal to say the least. But we walked up to yeah. him nonetheless. Whether we win or lose here. This is our last battle. He leads with Fionn and Ledian, which we were both like, ha ha ha, Lance, is this all you've got? And then he hits us with the no. Jacob huh. was up against yeah. his Porygon Z, Rampardos, Licky Licky, Zapdos, and Plusle. And even <laughs> though it's a pretty stacked team, he was holding his own and getting through them really well. On my end, I was dealing with a Giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. I just had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually, and what does he send out next? Palkia. Oh, the ultimate oh, revenge. I could really use a Salamence right about now. <laughs> this is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Yeah. Looking at my team, I don't have anything that can handle Palkia either, except for Mewtwo. And what happens? He gets Spatial Rand crit one shot, turn one. Ooh. I am in 
a lot of trouble. I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle, so all he could do was watch this massacre from the sidelines. <laughs> I sent out Dillydew to confuse Stalem and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And my god, was I lucky because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dillydew and the run was over. Ooh. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. But eventually, <laughs> Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. I was so proud. The pair that we <laughs> caught so early on and deemed as death fodder was the one saving us. We're so sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us and not dying. But that was only half of Lance's team, oh, I never no. mind you. <laughs> Plap took out his sand slash, which stunk. But Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's surf and killed him with metal burst. Oof. I was in shock with that one. That was our second oldest pair. Ever since our Franklins died, Jacob and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and revenge finished the Bastiodon and Lance's last Pokemon was big ol' hard hitting tanky freaking Azumarill. I <laughs> sent Dillydew back out because Beryl would die immediately and started the chipping game again. <laughs> if that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself, which oh, no. turned this fight from uh to ah, uh, this <laughs> awful one-on-one -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes. Oh, I slap no. him, he slaps back much harder <laughs> and then heals much harder and then I heal. But eventually Dilly Doo wins the stalling battle hey. and Azumarill goes down in Let's an go. unpredictable turn of events. Dilly Doo saved us from utter defeat. What an adventure we just went on. Insane encounters, <laughs> insane bullcrap, friends, <laughs> death, bullying, and the Dilly Doos. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute to the buddies we made along the way. Yeah. Except you. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. That was Jaden Animation's two-player Nuzlocke video that I have reacted to. And yeah. Uh, yeah. This is really cool. And uh, yeah. Very one-sided. For the most part. Also, I like how Jin had all the legendaries, yet she had the most trouble. <laughs> like, even through the Elite Four, like, I think the only, like, down, like, Jacob had was the... Dotrio, Death, and, well, the Lance fight. But the Lance fight, it was both ways. And, yeah. Anyway, that was a cool video. Uh, I kind of want to do a uh, Soul Link now. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!